Hello, what you will see here are different ways to, to how to focus through Copo you to the defenses against Tanto. In this case, what you could see is an attack uh, grabbing my hand at the same time that the knife is um, it's, uh, with, the, with the edge uh, cutting my, um, the inside of my wrist. And in this way, how we could react against this? Because if I try to strike, if I, I try to do whatever, he will cut me. Then, in this case, what we will do, it's my hand with a fast movement will control, will grab the hand of the, of the knife. At the same time that my elbow will go to this point. After that, the main, remember that in Kopo, use the key is to the key is to strike, the key is the impact. I will impact like that, breaking the, the cheek, and after that I will strike my, uh, my leg, will also strike, will step on in order to uh, damage the, uh, the ankle, and at the same time breaking with my body on the, on the elbow in order to... Hi, <laughs> Silas. Then, from the idea is that in this circumstance, if I am not reacting and I am uh, making the impact as, uh, as fast as you can, it could be impossible to react because if I am like that, he could try to cut on my body, pierce my body, thrust my body, and it would be impossible that this could be also uh, a real defense. Then what you need is to control like that and the strike will be strong at the same time in order to avoid that. Then, the first thing that we need to do is to take out the knife and like that, when we are doing like that, striking and after that, what we will do is employing this leverage, I will strike fast in order to, to, to make that here release the, the, the tanto, like that, entering with the knuckles or with the fingers in order to take out the eye and we have control here on the elbow in order to break. Then, one more time, if we are grabbing on this point, first strike, take out the knife, I will enter in order to uh, take out the eye, strike in order to break knee and also having control to attack to the elbow. Another possibility is when we are dealing with uh, situations like that, that it's a normal threat that we are like that. If we try to do on that, uh, this kind, he will cut me, he will uh, perceive that I am trying to defend and he will cut me on my body and I will be dead. Then what we will need is to be capable to surprise the enemy like that. After that, we cannot wait for that. It's very important that after that the strike comes so fast in order to surprise taking out the tanto. Then one more time what we will do is like that, we will do this movement because this uh, gives me conditions to throw the tanto. Then, after that, like that, I could go to the eye, I could break, smashing with my with my elbow here. I could pass in order to break. Also entering, stepping on the knee stepping on the ankle or the heel, and uh, from that I could, of course, I could break. For example, if we are like that, the idea is to pad the hand uh, down the knife, and after that, grabbing with the, to, on the wrist, and here, the conditions to uh, make an impact to uh, release the tanto. Then one more time, like that. Needs to be 
firm, it needs to be uh, hot, and from that I could have this, I could attack at the same time I am grabbing like in Kopo and grabbing the thumb, I could strike, I could strike here, I could strike with my elbow at the same time, breaking the thumb, striking in order to break the wrist, and also doing whatever like that. If, for example, the thread is like that, I am in a very difficult situation because any movement I will try to do from that position, he will thrust my, my neck and I will die. Then my condition here, first of all, will be to protect here. But of course, he could... When I do that, he could react, cutting my wrist, cutting my body, because he will care what is happening here. Then, from that, what I will do is I have conditions to protect myself, and from that, I could release the tanto. After that, I have conditions to go to the fingers, I could pass to that side, and I have conditions to break here on the elbow, I could enter the body, go to the eyes, strike it, smashing the knee okay. uh, behind, etc. Vamos a ver. No, no, no. One more time. When we are here, the only way it's going like that. But of course, he could pierce my uh, my arm like that, my biceps, and it will be hard for me. Then. Like that, we go to that. We could pass here, striking, striking like that. We could pass, breaking here. We could pass, breaking, grabbing the ear, smashing. My heel will break here, the calf, and I could react from that idea. If we are, for example, on a sided thread, like that, uh, in this case, Sidoji Odan is uh, holding me on the hand, on the, I have me the cubitory, but at the same time, he is threatening me with the knife in that point. The idea here is not to go into the knife, because if I try to go to the knife, he will cut me, he will thrust me in my body, that is the, the closest uh, the closest side of my body, then what I will do is I will use my elbow at the same time I am protecting in order to uh, guarantee a position that I will be safe. At the same point I will surprise my enemy breaking his own elbow. How? What I will do is first of all using my elbow, my left elbow here, I will do like that. This avoids him to avoid seeing the first reaction, the first reaction that is to pierce my body, but these don't avoid my enemy to uh, recover and trying to thrust on my face, thrusting, thrusting on my neck, etc. Then from that, what I will do is to be so strong, so fast, to do like that, striking at the same time with my leg. I am stepping on, striking, and this could break this elbow. We could also, from this position, it's to the same idea, but striking directly to the face, punching, and we have the conditions to break after that the elbow, etc. And of course, having conditions to be away from the enemy. One more time. What we will have here, it's with this uh, uh, movement, I could strike strong. After that, we are safe and we cannot be on the direction, on the range of attack of the Tanto. Then I could strike here, I could strike here, I could strike here with my elbow, but always caring to be away from the Tanto. Because if I try to do something like that, I will be on the range of attack of the Tanto. Then, if we are on this condition, 
We need to be in every movement away from the tanto. Here he could attack, but if I strike here, I am away from that to be away from the enemy. Awesome. Another possibility is when we are uh, rolling to the other side, like that. The idea here is to surprise our enemy by twisting my body at the same time that my back, my lower back, will be rolling uh, around uh, the arm of the opponent. Then like that, what I will do is fast movement like that, controlling the body, I'm striking with my elbow into the elbow in order to break his own arm. Now like that, I have to pass in order to gain this control, we could smash the face, we could tear the nose, tear the mouth, uh, attacking to the eyes, etc. What happens if we are dealing with uh, fast attacks? Many people try to sort of understand that this attack could be maybe holded, could be stopped. Maybe they believe that doing something like that, it will guarantee me, maybe I could strike. It, uh, it's, but it's not important because we are dealing with a very, with a high powerful weapon, with a high capability of, of uh, hurting me. Then if I do something like that and I try to hold, of course he will cut me, he will, uh, and it will be impossible to me to react. Then, first of all, we guarantee your safety, and after that, same time when he is trying to recover, we go forward, uh, striking at the same time, I guarantee the other arm. Because if I try to go for this arm like that, he could pierce, he could thrust my body, and it would be impossible to me. Then like that, I could enter. One, one, two, three. It's very important that the first movement be away, because after that we could strike, we could step, we could break here, we could attack with the heel, uh, making the impact on the inside of the legs, etc. Then, when we are in this circumstance, then the first thing here is to be away from the tanto. Any movement that I try to do like that, he will cut me and I will be injured. Then from that, what I need is always keeping my, my sight relaxed, always being uh, centered in what is happening. What we will do is the following. From that, freeze movement, protecting me from the attack. And right now, the most important is to, uh, to take out the tanto. Because if we try to attack or whatever, he could try to react and cut me. Then the first thing here, it's fixing here on the wrist. I could take out the tanto like that. One more time. If we are like that, I will do it in, in a slow motion right now. I will make that my elbow, my forearm, go backwards. After that, we have conditions to practice any kind of kopo. Striking here, striking to the eyes, having control on the fingers, breaking the fingers, I could strike with my, uh, with my leg and breaking different sides of the, different parts of the body. That is the main idea of Kopo Jutsu. Then, this is a small a practical explanation of how we have to deal with bladed weapons that it's a different perspective from the impact weapons that we have seen in a prior video. I hope that you have enjoyed on this Kopo Jutsu class linked to the reality. Thank you very much.